Hey guys, hope everything is going well. You guys know that drill. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below. Follow me on Instagram at AIH underscore sports. Follow me on my finance channel at AIH Finance. Okay, so I'm looking at this post by one of my followers, BGKS Sports Cards. I wanted to give attribution, right? Because in the past, someone said, hey, you're not giving me attribution. So I want to make sure to give attribution moving forward whenever I see it. And I follow his Instagram. I follow his YouTube. He follows me as well. And it's regarding the great curator and his market movers index. And here's the thing. It's on market movers, like I stated, and that reaches a wide variety of people. Great curator has a large audience, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And if you have your own index and you're buying these cards, you have to ask yourself the question, is there a conflict of interest? In my opinion, there could potentially be a conflict of interest. And me being an accountant, we're always trained for the segregation of duties and to make sure there's no potential conflict of interest. And I got on Dan the card man. He's an external auditor. We think very similarly in regards to the hobby. Now, I don't like most auditors. He's a Sox auditor. I had to deal with them. They drove me crazy, but I'll give an exception to Dan. Okay. We think alike and I'm pretty sure he would agree with me on this point. Maybe if he doesn't, then he could do a video on it, which is fine. But if you are buying cards for that particular uh, section of cards, right? Or particular, particular niche, and you have an index, and on top of it, you have a platform, multiple platforms. You have a YouTube channel, you have Instagram, and at times you do get interviewed. All of that is a conflict of interest in my opinion. And the thing about him is he always says, you know, to people that may not agree with him, they're negative, they're bad for the hobby. He was going after me and Sports Card Radio uh, because we have given, you know, constructive criticism to him. And what he said is like, those haters, they're bad for the hobby, this and that. Well, what he will never acknowledge is I was doing videos in February and March of 2021 warning about the decline in sports cards, right? These guys who call me haters will never acknowledge that. And my voice at the time, I wasn't getting that many views. So... I was giving, or my opinions were spot on. And in addition, I was bringing on guests that shared similar views. So once again, the industry, the commenters, they never will look at that, or vast majority will not look at that. So let's put that in consideration. Sports Card Radio, Ryan was working on checklists, which was helpful for the hobby for many years. So, and it is free to use. Anyone could have used it. So to say that we're bad for the hobby, I think people in the industry in the comment section need to think twice before they make those assertions. That's just my opinion. Now, in regards to what BGKS Sports Cards was stating, and maybe one day I'll have him on because I, I like getting on people that don't get that much traction. So the thing is that if you have an index, you have, you know, you're talking about positivity, all the negative people should go out. Why do you want only positive people? Is it because to help what you're promoting, the prices go up? So it could do well with the hype cycle? Hey, that could potentially be it. In a market, you need bulls and you need bears. You need all types of opinions. And if you re reject just one side of the coin, that is not good for markets, trying to speculate in markets, right? 
And not only that, you can't short sell, right? So th this is the other issue that I have with this whole collectibles industry, but that, that's a different story, right? You don't have accurate price discovery and you have illiquidity, AKA low volume. Now, BJKS Sports Cards believes that because of Curator having this index, it's going to artificially inflate the prices. I think that is one of the case. And the second case is we're most likely going to see another, how should I say it, uh, run up in sports cards and collectibles, not to the extent that we saw in 2020, 2021. And that's because I believe that the economy will slightly get better. There will be some sort of monetary accommodation via the Federal Reserve, which helps out the collectibles industry. And once again, there's more eyeballs in the collectibles industry than there was in the past. So they're going to go into scarce items, potentially like Star Wars. And then you're going to have probably guys like curators saying like, oh, look, if you listen to the negative guys, you wouldn't have gotten in. But the issue is, is that in my opinion, there's a huge conflict of interest. And if people want to try to turn these into alternative assets, right? Well, it's huge conflict of interest in the stock market. This type of stuff would not fly unless you had many disclosures. This is resembling penny stocks, in my opinion. And it is what it is. People may have bought up the scarce cards and now the pumping is probably going to begin. And the fundamentals of the economy, even though I don't like what they're doing or what they may do with money printing, you know, that's going to provide a boost in my opinion, but we shall see what goes on. Let me know. Do you think there is a conflict of interest? And if you don't think of a conflict of interest, why not? And it doesn't only go to Star Wars. If many indexes are created in the future, you have to ask yourself the question, what cards do they have where an index is based on what cards they're putting together? That is a huge problem. And I think I talked to Pancake Analytics about this. What conflict of interest do these comp companies have, right? These disclosures should be made. And if not, it's 100% appropriate to start questioning them. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Remember to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below, guys. Thank you. Bye.